After being in the hospital for the second time, it really hit me hard. You know, where do I go from here? Am I going to be living this for the rest of my life? Taking the medicine off and on and prednisone. You know, I read into it that, that that's not good for your body. One of the difficult aspects of treating Ron was that he was refractory to a lot of different therapies. So after a second hospitalization, I did recommend that he start acidophilus. Acidophilus is a probiotic or a good bacteria. Good bacteria is felt to strengthen the immune system. There's two uh, main ones that have felt to be effective, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. So I think that they're very good complementary therapies for ulcerative colitis. And I also recommended that he take multivitamins as well as calcium. A friend of ours through our bank, uh, he went to a holistic doctor, Dr. Darren Weissman. So he gave me his name and number. He's like, if you got an open mind, give him a call, see what he has to say, and go see him. Ron Mueller came to see me um, in June of 2001 in really a trying place. And um, it had really been a, a, a brutal experience for him and his family going through this diagnosis and being in the hospital multiple times with having the ulcerative colitis. I didn't know anything about alternative medicine and what it could do, what it does, what it was about. And I didn't know, you know, what to expect. I think he's a year older than me, so I could, you know, I responded with that well, you know, younger guy, caring, and, you know, he just went down and did a bunch of one-on-one -on -one conversation first, and then he, you know, basically checked out, you know, he does a muscle testing and felt around the stomach and, you know, what have you. You know, he said, we're going to cure it. My approach with him was just really to connect with Ron and to really help him realize that, you know, the medical community was going to be treating him for the inflammatory bowel disease, the ulcerative colitis, but I wanted to connect with Ron to understand, you know, how has he been living his life? What, what is the true cause and the root as towards why this uh, manifested in his body to begin with? He put me on a bunch of supplements, all natural, a no sugar diet. So I did that for two weeks and basically a detox. It was tough. You know, you're so used to eating everything in sight, as I would call a seafood diet, you know, down to reading labels and everything like that, you know, and I, I did it. And I definitely think it helped. The biggest thing to me, too, is water. Water is imperative for optimal health. When a person, first and foremost, is not hydrated, when the water doesn't enter their cells, then their ability to detoxify and heal is affected on so many different levels. Stress, when it's triggered, affects our pH, and that causes the body to become acidic under stress. That acidity, the next response, is inflammation. There's the itis. And for Ron's experience, it was in his colon, and inflammation is directly due to dehydration. So the key when I'm working with somebody is to first and foremost understand where's their stress levels. Ron and Dr. Weissman traced the earliest stages of his disease to a time when Ron took over the family business. They believe the pressures during that time triggered the problem. 